Oh Lord, increase our knowledge. Welcome everyone to another one of our vlogs from uh, St. Mark's Episcopal Church in Dalton, Georgia. Um, today's from an unusual location. We're in front of the Dalton Islamic Center. Uh, and Dalton Islamic Center uh, has been here for several years in Dalton. Uh, last week, we had some uh, six visitors from the Dalton Islamic Center come to speak with us at uh, St. Mark's. We've been having a program this Lent about other faiths and um, uh, trying to learn a little bit from them. We had uh, a rabbi from uh, Chattanooga a couple of weeks ago, and a couple of weeks from now, we will have someone speaking about Buddhism from Chattanooga, speaking to our group as we seek knowledge and understanding. And it's been a very well attended and a very successful um, series thus far. One of the tragedies of the of history, and particularly the last thousand years, is the animosity between Christians and Muslims. On both sides, both sides, there have been unjustified uh, aggression and cruelty and prejudice, uh, violence and hatred. You know, th this is tragic and this very much needs to change. The, um, uh, Christianity and Islam are the two, world's two largest religions. Together, we make up uh, a little over 55 percent of the world's population. Uh, Islam and Christianity, along with Judaism and Baha'i faith, are the uh, monotheistic uh, worship, uh, religions that we worship one God. We four religions, uh, the ones I just named, are the Abrahamic um, uh, uh, religions, recognizing Abraham as our patriarch. So there's a lot to be in common with these groups. Now, there are millions and millions of Christians and Muslims who seek peace, who practice daily prayer, who try living devout lives. So uh, uh, there's a lot in common there, but unfortunately, there, you know, there are many who, who uh, do not live that way. I am a Christian. I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Muslims do not believe that Jesus is divine, but they honor him as a prophet. Now, there are many actions by some, by some uh, Muslims that I believe are, are not the way of God. But I believe there are many, many actions and words of people professing to be Christians that I do not believe to be the word of God either. God will be the judge of all of us. Um, now, one of the biggest jerks I've ever encountered was a, a Muslim with whom I worked in Chattanooga. Uh, but it would be very wrong to judge other Muslims by the actions of this one individual. See, it says it would be equally wrong for to judge Christians by my actions, as I regularly sin and fall short of the uh, example of the teachings of Jesus Christ. So we shouldn't stereotype on, on just individuals like that. Many Christians oppose St. Mark's inviting Muslims to speak in our facility, and I understand you know, that displeasure. But we seek knowledge, and seek knowledge to help us to better to serve God. So um, regardless of our different beliefs, we Christians and Muslims share this world together. In fact, we share the same neighborhood. I live for less than a mile from this facility here. So to, uh, together, um, you know, we, we have to live together. We Christians worship a God who loves and forgives unconditionally. I repeat that, loves and, and forgives unconditionally and wants us to do the same. I pray that we and those of other faiths can live together peacefully and respectfully and live together as neighbors. So thanks be to God.